All right, so we'll get started. Okay. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, I should say thanks, first of all, uh, in spite of having a cricket match happening, you guys are here to listen to us. Uh, my name is Prasad. I work for a company called Ideas. Uh, I manage uh, two product lines of Ideas. Uh, and he's Naresh. Of course, everyone knows him. So today, uh, we are going to share our journey the transition of legacy code to make sure that we follow the engineering practices, the agile engineering practices in the legacy code. So I'll start with the question, what, what do you mean by legacy code? Any, anyone? Code without, without code without tests. Perfect. What else? Which exists for? Yeah, so which exists for years and years together. OK. What else? The code which we are scared to touch. If there are 10 ifs, if else conditions, new, chair, new requirements uh, help makes us put 11th else condition, right? So we are just scared about legacy code, right? OK. The code with uh, no continuous feedback, no test cases running, no CI, CD integration. So we don't know if we make any changes, what will happen. A lot of manual testing, right? All right. So here is our journey. So I'll start. So we, as I said, I, I manage uh, two products. For one of the products, uh, uh, we faced a similar situation where there was no co code coverage, there was no test cases running, and no CI, CD integration. So here is the journey. As India is batting in Sydney, we'll bat for the next 35 minutes. Hopefully, we won't get out. So let's, be, let's, let's hear us. Kind of quickly to set the context, uh, I'm sure people have stayed at the hotels, and we understand that you know, the price that is quoted to you when you come into a hotel, uh, depending on who you are, where you come from, how frequently you stay, the price keeps varying. right? And that's essentially, in a nutshell, if I were to describe what Ideas does. Uh, you know, one of the products of Ideas basically helps hotels uh, quote the best optimal price to different kinds of customers uh, so that they can maximize their revenue. Uh, while they started in that space, I think uh, there was a lot of uh, demand for the analytics, that the engine that they had built. And they kind of spread out into another vertical, which is the air, uh, the airport uh, car parking vertical. In general, car parking, but specifically airport car parking vertical.